Well, that didn't take long. What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. Gonna check out the SCX6 real quick. And then I'll just show you my first run with it. Um, overall, had a blast with it, but for the price, there's a few things that's lacking on this one. So um, kind of wanted to show you guys. Uh, you know, I'll put it through it a little bit. Got quite a bit of carnage going, but that's what they're for, right? Scratch up, beat up. Um, luckily took some pretty good rolls, no cracks in the body. Um, the clear up here did kind of crack, but it's not the actual body like cracked all the way through or anything. Um, so no, no issues with that. Kind of surprised I didn't lose any mirrors. These roll cause they're just screwed in, I guess. But, um, I would have liked to see those fold away because this thing is heavy and I'm talking this body's like 847 pounds no really uh, I'll have to weigh that but it is insanely heavy um, and then here's the truck so you've seen I killed the servo already which is just um, an embarrassment for Axial in my opinion $1,200 on this truck one day of use servo shot it wasn't good to start with. It barely turned the tires on a high grip surface. It didn't even turn them. So that's garbage. Not cutting them any slack. You guys know how it is. Um, you know, I've been seeing all these people that got these for free and you know, they'll, uh, they'll talk about the servo being a little weak or this or that, but nobody's really just flat out telling the truth. Okay. This servo, garbage if you're gonna buy this truck just go ahead and plan on spending another thousand dollars to make it what it should be or don't buy it that's just the honest truth um y'all know i try to be honest foams in these tires stupid way too soft for the weight this thing's packing honestly you can't do any kind of real crawling because they're just going to fold over um not sure what the options are on that yet Gonna have to figure it out. Um, other than that, I didn't have any real problems. Um, shocks did pretty good. The rears were a little soft. It would, uh, it don't like any kind of inclines, which, you know, with this body, I, I've figured that. It's not a rock crawler. It's gonna be more of a trail truck. And so it's gonna have its weight issues. <laughs> but, um, Everything on it is super beefy. I got to give it that. Um, you know, they they did try to make it strong. You look at this thing. These links are huge. Um, everything on it is massive. And I gave it a pretty good beating. And nothing broke besides the servo. Um, links... I mean, they're, they're big, look. <laughs> they're like almost the size of your pinky. Um, don't think we'll have any problem out of those. Drive shafts look pretty good. I just ran it on 3S. Um, I've been seeing people saying you can run 4S, so probably gonna try that. Um, this servo's junked now anyways. Haven't had any problems. I might have to build a bigger workbench. Haven't had any problems out of this servo um, switching the gears, but I know it's a cheap junk servo, so I honestly don't care if I kill it or not. Um, other than that, like it is solid. Really had a lot of fun with it. Um, my buddy Zach did a lot of the running in the video. You'll see I was letting him drive it. And by the time he was done, he was just like, man, I gotta get one. I gotta, I gotta save some money, I gotta get one. So, um, pretty impressive it did some stuff that was pretty cool and i can't wait to get it in the creek and just kind of trailing with it wish the servo hadn't died i would already be trying to get that done today maybe but what are you gonna do um so i'm gonna look at putting maybe the reefs beast in there I'm not sure uh that's a lot of money but gotta do something so 
Uh, I'm going to let you guys check out the running here, and we'll talk a little more about it. So I took this thing down to Nolan Dam. Um, it's a great spot to test your trucks. You know, the terrain never changes. So if you're looking to make some changes and, you know, swap wheels, tires, shocks, that sort of thing, it's a great place to kind of test and tune. Um, a lot of it is on a steep incline. So, um, you know, the bigger trucks like this, big body trail trucks, normally don't do real well here, but um, we were just wanting to get out and crawl at this spot. So I brought the SCX-6 with me and um, I had some fun. You know, there's some areas you can see here that there's some stuff it was able to do. And it's really kind of fun to take something like this out there that's different every now and then because you kind of run the same old lines over and over. And uh, with something like this, you can explore a little bit and find some new, uh, little more simple lines that you maybe wouldn't hit, you know, normally. And um, overall, I had a really good time with it. The truck is, um, it's a lot of fun. I got to give it that. Like I said, I think I'm really going to enjoy this one in the creek and even some hill climbing. You'll see later I, I get, um, we do some hill climbing with it. And that's where things went wrong with the servo. But, uh, you know, I was treating it kind of like a rift. So honestly, not a big deal. Um, I think this stock servo is like a $50 servo. Um, so I'm not expecting much out of it. I'm just going to replace it and move on. I am going to try to get Horizon to send me a new one as a replacement just because it should have lasted longer than one one run i believe but anyway on with the truck um the tires like i said at this place uh, there it's a really high bite nothing really struggles for traction here so you know the tires did great i honestly don't think they'll do great on uh you know kind of wet slick stuff but i'll have to figure that out once i get a new servo we'll try that out but um Definitely need some foams. Definitely need a little weight in the front end, maybe, um, just to help this thing up some stuff. But, uh, you know, coming downhill like here, you can also see that rear end lifts pretty easily. So, hate to go too front end heavy with it, um, just because, you know, sometimes you got to come downhill also. One thing you can notice in the video here is uh, this thing takes like a 40 acre field to turn around or turn. So um, that's something that you just got to be aware of. With this large scale, I mean, it's, it's a given. It's going to take more room to turn. And so you find yourself backing up, going forward, backing up, going forward quite a bit. Um, I really wish this thing had dig. Like, I think it would have been really cool to have the dig on there. I know that's not like a super uh, highly sought after thing, I guess, for some people. But um, for me, it would have been nice just to help this thing turn a little bit tighter, you know, throw that dig on and, and whip it around. So um, that would have been cool. I didn't have any problems with the um, two-speed transmission. It actually went in and out really well. Um, so the servo for that is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's a cheap servo, but it works. It does what it needs to. And uh, we found that the second gear was a lot of fun. It's pretty dang fast with the second gear and... Uh, you know, a lot of places, if you get hung up, you're kind of uh, hung on the center of the truck or whatever, you can slap it in that second gear and really hammer down and, and uh, pull your way out of stuff. So um, that worked well, no issues with that. So I'm really hoping the aftermarket jumps on this truck. Um, I feel like it would be, an, with it being an axial, um, more than likely they will. Um, I know, you know, Redcat had the claw back and then there was like the Exceed, Max Stone, One Fifth, and uh, none of those really got any kind of attention, any kind of aftermarket support. And uh, I had that Exceed One Fifth, and it's honestly the worst money I've ever spent on RC. Um, it was just junk. <laughs> so I really like seeing this truck that is decent out of the gate, you know, um, of course, servos are an issue with any rtr um honestly i don't have a problem with the uh, esc and motor in it i feel like they're going to be fine for me i'm not looking to um do willies with this thing you know so 
Um, I feel like it's got plenty of low speed crawl to it that I'm going to enjoy it the way it is as far as that goes. So I'm not looking to uh, change that stuff up much. Really just wanting some wheels and tire options. Really be cool if they had some body options, I think. And, uh, you know, just little bits here and there. I've seen GPM is already making some drive shafts, and I really like the GPM stuff. I haven't had any issues with their stuff. I'm running their drive shafts on my Capras, and um, I'm running their shocks on my Mini B, actually. And all of their stuff I've had good luck with. So that's cool to see that they're already jumping on making some stuff. So I think there'll be a lot of stuff coming for this truck. And um, like I said, it's it's pretty solid truck out of the gate, just servo issues. Um, that's a given with uh, any RTR, honestly. Um, I would have liked to have seen that change a little bit, spending $1,200 on it. But it's just what you get. You know, these companies are going to get away with what they can. And it seems like servo is just something that they know they can put whatever junk they want in there and people are just going to deal with it. And uh, honestly, I would like to see somebody step up and change that. You know, start putting a good servo in these things and, and make it to where somebody can get some run time out of it. You know, if I was somebody fairly new to the hobby that just decided, hey, you know, like I love crawling, I want this big crawler. Um, and I went and spent the money on this thing thinking 1200 bucks, like this thing's going to be awesome. Um, I'd be pretty let down with the servo when it quit, you know, this soon, but, um, I've been in the hobby long enough to know that pretty much replacing the servo is just a, it's just something you're going to have to do as soon as you get an RTR. Um, but even at that, it's not like I have fifth, fifth scale servos laying around everywhere and I don't really have. 400 to 450 bucks to uh you know put the reefs in it that i really want right now after spending 1200 on the truck so um i jumped on amazon ordered me a cheap 70 kg fifth scale servo i think it's probably gonna get by for a decent little bit and then um, i did start the warranty process with uh, horizon on the stock servo so i'll have it as a backup just to uh keep me rolling until you know i can Save to put a little money in this thing, you know. Um, for me, going and buying a four or five hundred dollar servo is just not what I'm going to do um, out of the blue. You know, a ten scale servo, I can usually handle, you know, fifty to a hundred bucks just dropping it when I need to. But even at that, you know, you can't do that every day. So um, it would have just been nice for them to go a little above and beyond, you know, for something this big and this much money. Um, I really would have liked to seen that from Axial, but overall, this thing, pretty impressive, had a lot of fun with it, can't wait until, you know, a lot of the aftermarket stuff, stuff starts dropping for this thing, like I said, we need foams, wheels, and tires, and uh, just, I'd love to see some body options, I'm not a huge fan of these Jeep bodies, they've just been done and done and done, and just, I'm burnt out on it, honestly, but... I had to go ahead and pick this thing up just because of the size of it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully there will be some different body options. There's actually quite a bit of flex in the servo mount on the main servo and the one for the uh, transmission. And it's kind of like, why didn't they make that a little thicker? But, um, you know, that's something that will be easily upgraded. There's companies already working on aluminum mounts and stuff. So I'll probably definitely pick one of those up. Maybe not so much for the transmission. I'm not too worried about that. Um, like I said, I didn't have any issues with it. But definitely for the steering servo, an aluminum servo mount um, would definitely help that. Because there's a lot of flex in there. Just from, you know, having a large servo and the torque that it's pulling. Um I noticed quite a bit of flex in there, but even with that, the stock servo, I don't think it would have made a difference. Even if you'd beefed that up, it's just really, it's just not a strong servo. Um, and you've seen at the beginning, the gears just were chewed. So um, it probably would have made it worse, honestly. <laughs> if there was no flex in there, that thing would have given out much sooner, more than likely. But just a few little things here and there like that, I think would really benefit from the aluminum. I'm not going to go crazy with all the aluminum axle housings and this and that. It's not worth the money to me. But um, 
just a little touch here and there will be nice to have some aftermarket stuff but you can see this thing we had a blast with it honestly we took our 10 scales and we didn't even really run them um you know we got busy with this thing and just was they took the day up um so <laughs> kind of stole the show for us and uh really look forward to getting more run time in with it so the size of this thing in my opinion is really going to open up a lot of uh new options for companies as far as you know making scale accessories and and roof racks and snorkels and all that stuff and you know the 3d print people are going to go nuts with stuff and uh you know some of that stuff will probably be okay i'm not real huge on the 3d printed stuff everything that i've ran 3d printed that actually went to anything like link risers for the capra stuff like that i've just broke them like just i'm way too hard on stuff i guess so i'm not a huge 3d print fan um i don't like all the lines in the stuff and everything but um some things will probably be okay and you know it's a whole whole new scale for people to go crazy with so i can't wait to see what everybody comes up with this uh, for this rig and uh it was really cool taking this thing out to this spot. You know, it kind of opened up a whole new world of lines because we've pretty much ran everything, did everything here with the 10 scales. And, you know, then you take this thing out there and it's like a whole new ball game. And uh, just finding those new lines and trying new things was really a blast. Just like this right here is just something cool about taking this Jeep between these two rocks. And it, that's that's my favorite thing about rc is just that feeling of finding something cool that just excites you and that's what it's all about so um had a great experience with this thing overall Here's where we decided to kind of treat it somewhat like a rift and uh, do some hill climbs with it. Um, this is a hill that we blast with the rifts, and this thing was pretty fun hill climbing with. When it takes a roll, like um, everybody in the county knows it, but uh, overall it was it was a lot of fun trying to blast this thing up the hill. You know, um, you can see there a little bit the second gear is pretty fast, and uh, that makes it a lot of fun for. Uh, different types of terrain just like this and uh this thing took a beating over and over rolling down this hill that's what really happened to the servo so you know i'm not super upset that the servo gave out it's a little bit to be expected with this type of abuse uh, no servo saver that sort of thing so um, overall i couldn't really be super mad about the servo dying um, but the body held up well, no breaks in the body, no links breaking. Uh, you know, it was a problem I had with my rift, rod in, snapping. No issues with that with this thing. So um, overall, tried to test its durability, but not just be completely stupid with it. Um, and it, it held up. I gotta say it did well and um, was a lot of fun. So I wasn't real sure when I picked this thing up if I was going to get my money's worth out of it. You know, I don't expect a lot of people to pick these up. Um, so it's not going to be like the 10 scale game where, you know, you can go out and have eight or 10 people running them. I just don't think that many people are going to spend the money on it. But uh, I hope I'm wrong. I hope a couple, at least a couple more of my buddies pick them up and, you know, we can get out and trail with them and stuff. Because uh, at the end of the day, I had a blast with this thing. And in my opinion, it was worth my money. So um, I'm definitely excited to get out with it some more, waiting on that servo 
and we'll hopefully get some more video of this thing soon. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. You'll see right here, Servo was dead at the end of the day. So uh, we'll get that swapped out and get some more runtime in with this, maybe some upgrades coming. And uh, we'll talk about that new servo and stuff. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that. And uh, click the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Peace.